pain in your hands and find it difficult to do even everyday tasks, you're not alone. You may be surprised to hear the pain is actually quite common and can sometimes be fixed. Dr. Robert Unsell joins me with more. Thank you for being here, doctor. Well, thank you, Tammy. This pain in the hand, is it more common in women than men? It's more common, about three times more common in women than men. It shows up about age 45 or thereafter. And the reason it shows up in the hand so much is that 60% of everything we do with the hand involves our thumb joint. And this joint right here in the thumb is what gets sore. And patients come in and they say, I can't hold things, I can't pinch things, I can't do what I used to do. Would you describe it as our arthritis or not necessarily? It's a, it's a wear and tear type of arthritis. Yes. So what do you do to solve that problem? Well, we try to do everything we can first without surgery, like splints, cortisone shots, pills, anti-inflammatories. If that doesn't work, then we have a surgery that we can do that works very well and replaces that joint. And the difference is you hear about joints in the hips and knees. This one, we use a tendon. It doesn't wear out. We don't have to protect it. And it should last for the life of the patient. Some of those precautionary things that you do ahead of time before the surgery, obviously that's to get the swelling down because that's what we're dealing with here is some swelling. You have swelling and you have pain, and we're trying to get rid of the pain, whatever we can do to get rid of it. How, how many are you able to help pre-surgery and avert surgery? Probably about 50% we can save from having surgery. And then once you have a candidate for surgery, what is the success rate of that procedure? We like to think that we have a good success rate. It's probably about 95%. And I tell people that if they have the surgery, they can go back to doing whatever they were doing before, such as if you have a dental hygienist and they're hard to get back to work because they use their hands a lot. I haven't had one yet that I couldn't get back to work. And then, again, tell us the kind of recovery. Is it vary among patients, how long it takes before they can actually have full use of that hand after the procedure? Well, everybody's a little different. We do have sort of a cookbook protocol, and they're in a cast for four weeks. Then we start them in therapy, start them moving, and usually they're back by eight weeks doing most of what they want to do. I can imagine the reaction of some of those patients who can finally go back to their day-to-day -day lives without pain. Oh, they're really happy. They're some of my happiest patients. I bet so. How can they get more information? Well, they can call us. I work at Community Hospital, and they can call the number for Community Hospital, and we can help set them up. Doctor, we appreciate you being here. Well, thank you, Tammy. To hear from a patient who had the procedure, just go to news9.com slash first at 4.